Hello everyone and good morning. This is the Panda Photographer. I'm using the BOA B M M B wait wait, is it a M M one B Y M shotgun microphone? I forgot. But I'm using a shotgun microphone on my iPhone. So I'm recording this from my iPhone doing a live stream. So let me talk about the camera that everyone dislikes. Okay? And I want to make a disclaimer before I start this video. This camera the company Yi Technologies, I am not sponsored by them, okay? I'm not affiliated, they're not sending me free stuff. Marcus Pix sent me this camera and asked me if I wanted it to play around with it and I enjoy using it. Let me tell you why. And let me tell you another thing about Micro Four Thirds. It is not a debt platform. So those that believe that the Micro Four Thirds uh, platform is a debt system, Look at my Instagram really carefully, and you'll see the images coming out from this particular camera. Now, this is a Sony sensor, which is called the uh, IMX269 uh, sensor. This is a pretty outstanding Micro Four Thirds sensor. Sony, kudos for two reasons. I'm not sure if you're partnering up with Yi Technologies and what stride you to give them this sensor, but... I have to say, the sensor can be reused on another body if it comes to that point, or if Yi technology would upgrade the firmware, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute too. So, but image quality from this camera is by far amazing. And what I mean amazing is that there's a lot of YouTube content on the channel, on this platform, that bash the shit out of this camera. It sucks. The dynamic sucks. The build quality, the video quality sucks. Take in mind, if you guys want to pause this live stream after this live stream is over, be my guest. I have content that shows you that this camera produces some really crispy 4K footage and video. So, and I used it on a IRIX 100 micro lens. Let me show you that right now. You guys are on the gimbal. So I'm going to go over here. All my toys are on the table. Here is the lens that I used. And all the micro photography photos with the adapter. EF to Micro Four Thirds adapter. This is the adapter. This is the lens. Go to my Instagram, the Panda Photographer, all one word. Now, keep in mind that this is not a perfect camera. No camera is perfect. So stop dreaming. You photographers out there, stop nitpicking about what you should shoot with, why you should have a Sony A7 III. I don't give a shit about Sony, okay? I shoot with Sonys. I still have my Sony cameras. I still have Sony lenses, but I don't care about Sony. It's whatever you get your hands on to shoot with should be acceptable. It's not about the gear. It's about you taking the pictures. Now, I took pictures on my Instagram. I'm going to load my computer up so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. And some of you may not want to go to my Instagram account, but you should. Because iRix is showing me a lot of love on what I can do with this sensor on this particular camera. Now, the menu functionalities on this camera are pretty... It's not, it's, it's not limited. It is... Functional, but if Yi Technologies were to update the firmware, because right now the firmware that I'm using is uh, 3.2. And let me log into my computer really quickly here. So I can show you amazing people what I'm, what, what I'm working with. Okay. All right. What I'm working with. This is a pretty damn good camera. I'm sorry that I'm going back and forth, guys. I'm tr trying to make this live stream. I only got three hours in this room. But dynamic range on this sensor is by far really good for a Micro Four Thirds. Now, if you haven't seen the video quality, I suggest checking some of my video content that I recently just posted in the last two weeks on this particular camera. It is really, really, really good for a Micro Four Thirds sensor. It has a Sony sensor. I mean camera, I said, keep saying sensor, camera. But it has a Sony sensor, which is like I said, the IMX269. Color reproduction is 
amazing. It's actually a thunderstorm outside right now. It's raining heavily, pouring down rain right now. And I'm a travel photographer. I travel whatever I can get my hands on. I have the gear, but when people want to send me stuff to toy around with, thank you, Marcus Picks, for sending this to me. Literally, this is by far a pretty good camera. I'm not sure if people took the time out to actually examine the camera fully instead of trying to make fast ass content, which I'm calling it fast ass content because I feel that a lot of the YouTubers that had this camera didn't address how good this camera could be if you take the time and shoot raw. In JPEG, it does shoot really nice JPEGs. I have proven that by using the kit lens that came with it. I came with two kit lenses. It came with a well, technically, I call them kit lenses, but one's a prime, which is a 42.5 megapixel f1.8. It is sharp in the center, but soft in the corners. And there's a 12 to 40 zoom, which is good for logging. Now, I already did the test, showed you guys in the real world how the stabilization does work. And for a micro four thirds camera, its stabilization in 1080p does work. It works sort of in 2K, but keep in mind that let's take this camera over here. So I can boot everything up on my computer oh gotta turn on my mouse like an idiot that did not do that so uh yeah let me boot up instagram for you really quickly i'm sorry i'm trying to log into the wi-fi here at the public library and this is real world i'm not trying to add this video or do any ads i'm going to show you guys in the real world how good this camera is and i'm posting great micro photography images now keep in mind if you guys look at that these images are coming from this particular camera these images are coming from this camera shooting in raw and i'm going to show you guys the settings look i'm shooting at iso uh 1250 at 4.5 because on the irix it's a 150 f 2.8 so on the micro four thirds this is actually equivalent of a 300 mil f 4.5 now i'm not able to change the aperture because of this adapter I'll show you guys i'm not able to control the aperture but i'm going to hopefully in the future buy a c uh it's called a cpu aperture controller uh, with a Metabones. I'm going to actually purchase that and This is pretty good adapter Even though it's limited, but the build quality is just outstanding. It's really amazing. It's really tough build quality But anyway, I'm going to show you some more images. Oops. Sorry. Sorry guys But I'm going to show you some more images. Look at these images coming from this particular camera I'm not sure if this live stream is doing any justice But like I said go to my Instagram check them out you're going to be amazed how the bokeh the separation there's no and with the lens there's no uh there's no breathing within the elements or the the glass that's inside the body so there's no focused breathing whatsoever but look how sharp and you can go to my facebook and check these out too if you choose to do that and i'm using high isos i'm putting my iso look 3200 iso that image shot 3200 ISO f4.5 at a thousand uh, shutter speed. I'm also using a zombie nurture density filter. I featured this on my channel already. It's a really damn good scent, uh, nurture density filter. Now, I didn't use a polarizer because the polarizer I have started to do some weird color printing, and I think that uh, most people should just take the time out to examine this camera carefully now most of these youtubers are not professional photographers so they don't not they do not have any expertise on the fact what is diamond range how you test diamond range how you test iso performance how you test for coma how you test for fringing or shadow reproduction or when you're pushing shadows on the center on the center on this camera now Keep in mind that I'm not able to use my Sony um, flashes on here because this is actually a Nikon mount uh, flash uh, flash mount on this camera 
or but Yi technology should have made this universal instead of just one particular flash. I'm not sure why they went with Nikon, not a universal bracket, uh, shoe mount. I'm confused by that. Yes, this camera does have some limitations when it comes down to settings, um, but you can get around with it. And I have gotten around with it as an enthusiast photographer. This is a pretty damn good camera for what it can do. And the battery life. Now, let me tell you about battery life compared to, and this is what a lot of people have, they have the, their findings all wrong. All you YouTubers that actually viewed this camera, you were wrong. You were very much wrong about this camera and what this camera is capable of. I'm going to point, I'm not going to point fingers. I'm not going to do that. No. I'm going to just say you're all wrong. So stop. Stop trying to push out content so you get money. This is not about money. If you're going to help a community, try to decide, especially for a budget photographer that's looking for a camera that they can shoot with. And like I said in the beginning of this video, it does not matter about the damn gear. It's you. You are the one with the eye. You are the one with the creativity. You're using your brain. The camera is just a tool for you to create that image. But it's up to you to decide if this is going to be worth something. It's up to the human personality to give this a camera a try and start, a, and start with the, oh, it's, it's an okay camera. It's not that great. It's, it has some limitations and ISO. I, I watched this video where this guy literally talked about how the video quality sucked. You guys saw my video. You tell me from my video versus his video, what is the difference? Because I'm, I'm looking at his videos and I'm pretty sure he did not have exposure compensation correctly balanced on, the, on his video. He just shot it the way it was. He didn't take the time out to make sure that he didn't use any ND filters. Poorly, poorly executed. Like I said, I'm not bashing YouTubers. I'm just, as a photographer, it hurts my feelings that I got these YouTubers that are coming out with content, and I know I'm supposed to support this community, but I can't support a community of YouTubers that are falsifying claims that the camera is not good. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by Yee Technologies at all. This camera was sent by Marcus Pix. He's a great photographer, he just gives away a lot of free stuff, and he asked me if I wanted to play around with it, because he didn't like it, and he's watching my content, and he said, wow, I didn't know you can get that, those type of results with this camera. Maybe he should have played around with it a little more. And it's not his fault, he just, he's a busy man, and I can understand that. But when someone's not busy, and they literally have this camera, and they purchase this camera just to get views, or it gets sent, I think Yi Technology send these YouTubers, I think this is what the problem is. These companies need to stop sending the wrong YouTubers gear. Because they're not going to execute and identify what we need as photographers and YouTubers and creators. This, I can do video, which I already did. And I guarantee you, if I make a short film with this camera, I can make every single YouTuber take their words back. Because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making a short film with this camera alone, and I'm going to make every YouTuber regret talking badly about the camera. Now, some people may not be photographers. I'm going to tell you right now, this camera, the sensor in the camera, the settings, great diamond range, great shadow reproduction, great color reproduction, especially with the Irix 100 lens. Now, I did notice with the kit lens and the prime lens it came with, uh, I noticed a color difference when I'm using premium lenses like this one This lens. Oh my god, you guys have to purchase this lens if you guys don't have if you guys don't like micro photography Okay, that's cool, but when you need to get some b-roll When you need to get some some product shots, this is the lens you may want to use for Canon EF, Nikon F, and Pentax K. Now you can mount this on a Sony, mind you, you can mount this on a Sony E-mount if you have the MC11 adapter or an adapter that mounts onto E-mount from EF. But I am pretty gonna tell you right now that 
I'm really impressed. And I'm going to tell you guys that I'm not bullshitting you guys. I'm not trying to get you guys to buy this camera. No, 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 no. I want to make some corrections. This video is about correction. This is the camera that everyone hates and dislikes because everyone seems to be, no, you got to have a Sony camera to order to get good quality. That's not true at all. You can use any camera, a Canon, a Pentax, a Fuji. You can use any camera to get capture your moments. And that's where the most important aspect of learning about photography or being a YouTuber is that it's not, it's all about taking a time out, dialing in those settings correctly. I'm gonna turn this camera on for you guys. Dialing in those settings. Now I'm gonna, let me, look at, look at, look at all this. Look at these beautiful images. And it's a touch screen. I'm not sure if this is doing justice, but go to my Instagram. You can see all these images and it woof, woof, woof. Like pretty darn astonishing. And look, look how sharp that looks. Like buttery smooth. And people want to talk shit about this camera. Dude, I'm grateful that I even have a camera that I can use. And mind you, I don't use Micro Four Thirds a lot. I use Panasonic Micro Four Thirds, but for Yi Technologies camera, this is their first attempt at this camera. I think it's very impressive for what they can do for their first time for a mirrorless 4K camera. It's a really good freaking camera for beginners, amateurs, or professionals. Hey, this can put in your pocket Literally, can a Sony a7 III fit in your fucking pocket? I'm sorry for the language, but I'm just, I'm, I'm watching this content and it just pisses me off. But like, someone's trying to recommend their video on to my video. What kind of, what kind of douchebag would, let me turn this camera around. What kind of, hmm, what kind of douchebag will want to recommend their video onto my video and say, no, watch my video, then, so disrespectful, so disrespectful. Now, I did that to someone's video recently. I said, listen, your facts were wrong. You may want to reanalyze the camera. And the person told me that, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a real photographer. <laughs> Sorry, I had to giggle for a moment. I'm not a real photographer. Wait. You have no Instagram to prove that you're a photographer, but I do. Uh, multiple followings, and you're telling me that the camera is still garbage? So the camera is garbage. Okay, the camera is garbage. And what would you say if I was to give you the camera for a whole week? Let, let's pretend I gave you guys the camera for a week, a professional photographer, and I have other YouTubers that tested this camera, videographers, that said that even the video quality is good. It's people not taking the time out to dial and set this correctly. They just put everything on auto. You don't put everything on auto if you're creating video. You just don't do that. That's videography one-on-one. -on -one. Auto doesn't do justice all the time. So, no. Maybe when you're logging, like now, if I'm logging, you see my big ass microphone, I'm logging. Yeah, maybe, maybe, especially on a bright sunny day. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on auto ISO and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix my auto ISO to say between 100 and let's say 100 to 640. Just in case I get into a dark spot, whatever. Yes, the camera does have a little bit of flickering, but when I'm doing video with it in 4K, I was mind blown. I was like, oh my God, this camera's so good. Oh my God, what the hell is these people talking about? What? I'm not, I'm not on drugs. I don't do drugs. I don't barely drink any alcohol anymore. So like, what is it? Am, 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 am I on a doppelganger Earth? I'm on Earth 52 right now because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm on Earth 1. And I'm pretty sure that like, as a photographer, I know how to test a camera. I wanted to send, send this camera to Michael the Raven, but he was busy. 
So I asked another photographer, can I send the camera to him and just play with it? Tell me what you think about it. And I want you to be serious when playing with it. But everyone is busy. So I decided, let me just do my own testing. And I wanted to send it to someone else too with the iris lens so they could get a good feel of what I'm talking about. Now, with the kit lens, it does work really well. I'm not bashing the kit lens. Yeah, the kit lens is okay, but it's not the greatest. And this is where they make they they different they assumptions. Now, with the Micro Four Thirds, you can use Olympics, Panasonic lenses, Rokinon lenses that make for Micro Four Thirds. Trust me, this is a really good camera. Now, audio, on the other hand, sensitive. Yes, audio is damn sensitive. I can hear someone, if I'm recording video, now mind you, if I'm recording video, say I'm, the camera is right over here. Let me just, oh, let me score you down. Let's say the camera is right where that camera is. It will pick up that guy's voice that's sitting over there. It will pick his voice up. And I'm serious, it will pick it up and you can hear it. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. So, but touch screen functionalities works really good. Shoot in RAW, yes, all the images are shot in RAW, which is a, D, a DN, DNG, which YouTubers did not test at all. They didn't even want to test it. I feel a little bit, uh, I, when I watch content like that, I feel a little bit discouraged. Like, mm, it pisses me off that this content, this bullshit content is out there and YouTube has recommended it. But when I am a travel photographer, a real photographer, a real YouTuber, a real creator, a real someone that is passionate about what they do, YouTube doesn't recommend it. How, YouTube, how do you recommend bullshit content like that? My content is so real, this is why I do my live streams. This is why I want to do live streams, I want to document and be very transparent. Yes, I'm a little upset because I watched a video last night on the camera and the guy was, I had to take, I had to take the comment off and down off my video because basically he's taking you, the subscribers, and telling, telling subscribers that I'm wrong, he's right. But when I looked at his video quality, it's garbage. It is garbage. That's why I said, why would you put in an auto ISO on for video? No, I set my ISO at 800, then I color grade everything. Yes, you can color grade everything on this camera. That's what I did. Even with the, the stock footage that I have. Actually, I think I can show you some stock footage. You guys want to see some stock footage? Oh shit, we about to get really pumped up in this bitch. Okay, let me show you some stock footage. Just to prove I'm right. I'm gonna prove that I'm right make every youtuber regret making a video and I'm not attacking them no don't here we go farmers market boom oh boy look at this footage okay so look at this clip well all of them actually let's do this one Ooh. look how g that's not even processed that's not even processed. All right, let me turn that volume down. That's annoying. Hold on. That's not even processed, ladies and gentlemen. That is not even near. Look at this. Look at this one. Footage I never used. Look at that. Look at that. This might, this video, my stream might not be good, but when I'm looking at my 4K display, woo Lee, it's buttery smooth. Look at that. Look at the dime range. You can see all the cars. Guess what this building is? That's two miles down the road. And that is, uh, what is that? This is, Bat, not Bassett, uh, what's that street? Uh, because this here, I'm on top of the Capitol right here, right? So you got, uh, what is that? John Nolan right here. Then you got the stadium, the park, the field. This is going all the way down East Johnson. 
which is about two miles and you can see the detail look at the car detail in the background I, I'm not shooting you guys like oh man it's really insane how good this footage is like look at that I cleaned this footage up bring a little bit more shadows into it now if you watch the content on my channel you will be like oh wow like you fixed the blacks you, you did nicely but right now the footage looks just great but this is the camera that everyone hates everyone is saying don't buy this camera it's garbage the app is garbage yes that's true the app is it's not perfect it is not perfect at all but the camera is a very very impressive first attempt for a company to push out they make action cameras for a freaking living they make surveillance cameras they have all these types of amazing competitors against GoPro yeah if you guys didn't know that yeah Yi technology is a competitor against GoPro and DJI DJI just released their action camera with better stabilization mind you so and it is actually cheaper than the GoPros too at 349 to tell you the truth so go pick that up and I'll leave the links down in the description below for that but anyway I'm just trying to provide sense because Irix is asking me a question like is that camera really that good are you actually really shooting with that camera that's the question because the images that are on my Instagram yeah they might be hard to believe they might be hard to believe that that is coming from the camera but yes it is coming from that camera oh let me let me fix it put some color in my yeah right about that yeah it's a good camera i think you guys should give it a time out it's 279 dollars at this time on amazon and that's with the prime lens it comes with and the 12 to 40 and the battery life let me tell you about the battery life now the battery life when i'm not using the kit lenses the battery life lasts much longer i'm talking about two and a half three hours tops with the battery mind you it's a 900 milliamp hour battery and it's small and it's lasting a very long time even with photo with photos it's about three hours but the video is about an hour and 47 minutes I, try, I I literally went through the test and test the camera over and over while while doing these videos over and over and over again I tested the camera's battery when I'm using the the kit lenses or the prime lenses battery life is about an hour but when I'm using a non CPU aperture lens it's not sucking that much juice from the battery because I'm not using autofocus I'm manually like you guys know me, I'm the panda photographer. You guys know that I shoot manually all the time. This lens does have a CPU controller on it, but I'm using an adapter, which means it's not powering anything on the lens at all. It's not. So the battery life with this lens lasts me about two hours. What was it? Hold on, where's the piece of paper? I had a piece of paper in my pocket. Oh, there it is, there it is. Hold on. Because I wrote down each time, each day. Shh, crap. It's on the other side. Cause... Hold on. Oh, I don't want to write my notes. Oh, no. Because this is like some type of sticky paper. Note, sticky paper. Okay, notes right here. So, day one... Without the bat, without a lens controller on it, it lasted with just manual lens with no no CPU controls or anything like that. It lasted two hours and forty four minutes. Day two, two hours and forty six minutes. Day three, two hours and forty two minutes. Day four, two hours and forty minutes. Day five, two hours and forty seven minutes. Again, day six, two hours and forty nine minutes. Maybe because I'm not charging the battery quickly because. There's been sometimes I, I I charge it for three hours, 
and I think it's charging, but the light, the red light would still be on. And then just two days ago, with photos, three hours and 21 minutes. I'm, I, right here, notes. This is what I do. If I'm going to recommend to any budget photographer, and you're shooting with Micro Four Thirds, that's what I'm going to recommend. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, like I said, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not saying, yo, oh, yeah, this is the best camera in the freaking world. You should pick it up. It's better than Sony. If you have money to spend on the Sony, I would say go for the Sony. Go for the Nikon. Go for the Panasonic S1. Go for the Canon. If you want like Canon, go for the Canon. But if you are someone looking for a budget $300 camera with kit lens and you have the versatile ability to change lenses and use third-party lenses like Rokinon, Samyang, Panasonic, Olympus lenses, which are micro four-thirds, go for that one. It's 4K. It's light. You can log with it. Hey, you could put this on a gimbal with the lens, with the shotgun microphone that I have right here. You can see it. And that could be your logging camera. It would be your logging camera. I swear to you. It's pretty damn good 4K camera. I'm not kidding. Some of you might not be experienced on how to do video. But take it from me. I did everything. And actually, let's, let's, let's just bring it up so I can prove to you guys. Let's just bring it up. Let's just bring it up. Let's just bring it up. I'm going to... I'm going to... Boot my save, Premiere, uh, I'm going to boot up Premiere so you guys can see. Oh, I already did this video. I have a video on YouTube. Why am I even doing this right now? Go to it. It's called Color Grade. I just posted it like last week. Look at it. You can see how I'm messing with the S-curves, color, vibrance, little saturation, little pop. I'm using uh, Phantom uh, Rec 709 and then do the fix in there. And woo, it's amazing. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Projects. Here we go. Yeah, all right here. Let me show you guys. So here's all the footage. And let's do this footage. And you can see where sharpening, vibrance. You can see what I'm messing with the S curve, just a slight bit. My input lux is Phantom Rec 709 Gamma. That's what I used. And you can see where I made some adjustments. So, if you guys haven't seen this video, and you can see that like it's a really astonishing piece of gear. Look at that. That is just. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. The Look at the color representation. Look at the red, look at the greens, look at the blues, look at the yellows, the greens, the whites are white. There's no color shift whatsoever. And all in this lens. So I hope Iris would just make me an ambassador. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm really hoping for. Like, make me an ambassador, Irix. No, I don't want to be an ambassador. I would like to try the, the 11 F4 on this camera. Yeah, Irix, if you're listening, I would love to try your 11 F4 on this lens. Get some wide CD scape. Ooh, that looks so crispy. It's so good. It looks so good. But anyway, I already have enough gear. Look, look, look at this junk. Look at this, guys. Look at that. This is what I'm carrying with me all the time. My laptop, the audio equipment, my H1N Pro, the lighting, which is over there. And I got all this stuff. Plus, plus this. I got softbox. I got S-bracket mount. I got boxes of other stuff 
uh, diffusers, I got batteries in there, I got my clothes, I got my boots when I have to go hiking. All this together is 212 pounds total every day. This is what I got to travel every day with. So, and I got my Sony camera, which is right there. There's a Sony right there. Just to, just, just to prove to you guys that I love Sony too. I've been using Sony since I switched over to, from Nikon. There's a Sony with the Sigma 18 and 35. But this camera, super freaking gorgeous, super nice. And I was going to give it away. If I didn't like it, I was going to give it away. But I love it, so I'm going to keep it. I made an investment for the adapter. The adapter cost me $30. And thanks to you guys that supported the channel. This, this is what I want to say, guys. You guys made this happen. You made this happen. You helped me get this adapter. You guys supported the channel. You guys supported what I did. Some people might not support. Some people might not like my channel. Some people might not like my content. Some people might just hate me because they just want to hate. But you guys supported me and I was able to get this particular adapter you guys made that happen you guys made this happen because you guys donated to the PayPal donation link in the descriptions below you guys made all my content happen and made me prove that most of the youtubers are wrong so I thank you the audience for providing me with such good support and love and compassion because to be honest with you, it hasn't been a very good 2019, and I haven't been getting clients. I haven't been making money. YouTube has been filtering my channels. They've been caught doing it. Other YouTubers have caught YouTube, YouTube doing it because you can see where they drop your... Oh, man. It's just embarrassing. It's like, yeah, support, support garbage. But anyway... I'm a travel photographer. I gotta live on a budget. I gotta sleep out in the street sometimes. I gotta live on a budget. Look, it's raining out fucking outside. And like, I gotta deal with that tonight. And I'm broke. And literally, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm broke. I have to paint my website and bills. And, you know, it's been a struggle. I had to sell some gear, which I, would, I really regret selling the gear. But you know what? As long as the bills are paid for, I can get that out of the way. I don't want any debt. I don't want any things going on wrong with my life anymore. And you guys made it happen, so I thank you. But with that said, everyone, I'm the panda photographer. It's been, it's been, I know, it's early in the morning. I'm jibbity, 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 jibbity. <laughs> I know, it's early in the morning. Why are you so angry, panda? Because this content, when people are trying to put their content links onto my video and try to say I'm wrong, I'm going to come full panda your ass. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the Kung Fu Panda pain hard and I'm gonna prove to you you're wrong and I'm right. And I'm not trying to be the perfect photographer. That's not the ideal kind of person I want to be. I wanna be the photographer to, to, that does provide content that makes sense in the real world. So with that said, if you guys find this live stream very interesting on this particular camera lenses i leave all this down in the link below i just i didn't have time to do it because i'm limited on time but i just wanted to prove to you guys that yo this camera wait it's small look at look like ninja style like i can literally like flip this camera it's so light it is really darn good yeah so i do recommend it and i do support Ye Technologies. So Ye, I am recommending the camera to any beginner photographer, amateur, or pro for video. This is a very astonishing camera. Oh, by the way, let me show you this small, tiny battery. Show you this tiny battery. Look how small that battery looks. Look. Ah, I can fit in my mouth. I can literally chew on this. I seriously, look. That's how small the battery looks. That's how small actually the back camera would do more justice look at that show you this the information on here so you guys can see it's a small 
tiny little battery. Look at that. And this lasts me forever. Now, like I said, guys, depends on what lenses that you're adapting for autofocus. Oh, oh yeah, I do want to say this. Do buy Panasonic or Olympus lenses that have OIS on it, stabilize stabilization on the lens because you're going to have better results when you log in with the camera it's going to help keep footage stable especially at 1080p and 2k stabilization does work in 2k but not in 4k so keep that in mind it does work i went to the camera store to get a lens just to test it and whoa, it was working i don't have footage of it but i i my stupid ass left the sd card in this laptop yesterday and the, the camera company now is following me on Instagram here in Madison. I wonder why. I wonder why. Why are they going to ask me, oh, yeah, we want you to come by and change a workshop on microphotography. I'm like, nope. I don't, I don't do free content. Sorry, I don't do free work. I don't, no. I got bills to pay. I got a life. And it's not that I want to help other photographers. If those photographers want to get a one-on-one -on -one class, let them come to my class, and it's much cheaper. I don't charge $300, $500. Well, technically, I do charge $300, but I don't charge $1,000 for a work class. I charge the minimum of, like, okay, two-day work class, $250. I mean, two, from $250 to $350. I'm trying to be reasonable. That's all. I'm not trying to rob you and steal money. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm just trying to make a little bit of money so I can be like, oh, you, wow, look at that. Look at the clouds. Oh, I might go up there and shoot. Look at that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you guys see that? I'm not sure you guys can see that. Oh, damn Instagram. I mean, YouTube. It's like dark clouds and it's like the sun is trying to come out. It's beautiful over there. And it's raining right now, see? It's raining, though. It's nasty outside. But anyway, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this live stream about my rant on YouTubers bashing the camera and getting their facts wrong. But let me pack all this stuff up. And that's the problem. Packing this stuff up, putting it on my back, and trucking it along. I do have a hand truck, but even the hand truck gets heavy. It's a hundred and what is it, 127 pounds? My hand truck is it's already broken. Gotta buy a new one. If you guys want support to buy a new hand truck, PayPal link is down in the description below. It's going to cost you like 70 bucks to get one shipped here. But anyway, because it's like 50 bucks for the hand truck and then like $20 for shipping. It's ridiculous. And yes, I'm doing Amazon. And still, I don't have Amazon Prime anymore because Amazon has been doing some weird stuff to my account. So I am affiliated with Amazon. So the links to all the products that I will link will be in the description below. <sighs> but even that doesn't make a lot of money for me because once that gets deposited into my bank account, oh, the bank takes it because I own the bank. <laughs> See, too many stuff. But anyway, um, yeah. So keep in touch, everyone. If you guys have any questions about the camera that I missed, let me know, uh, and I'll be 